Okay guys, so today I'm going to be making some salt bars. We are almost out of those and I've got two pounds of Himalayan pink salt here. So I'm going to use that. And the plan is to make a 100% coconut oil, coconut oil soap with a 20% super fat. I'm going to use a bedtime bath fragrance oil. And then I'm going to use the salt at a one-to-one -one ratio with the oil. So I'll use just as much salt as I do oil. In this case, I've got two pounds of oil, so I'm going to use two pounds of salt. And I'm going to split it into two. I'm going to make a pink layer and a purple layer. And so I'll split these off and then add the salt after I've split it off. So my oils are at 106. I'm going to add the fragrance oil. My lye is at 105, so I'm just going to add that in now. Now I'm just going to stick blend it to trace. So I've reached trace and I'm going to split it off into two portions and then add the color and then I'll add the salt to each. So I've got some purple and some pink pigment here that I've um, mixed with a little bit of the olive or the uh, coconut oil that I held back before I added the lye and brought it to trace just to work out the clumps. So I'm going to add the pink to one half and the purple to the other. And I'm just going to whisk it. Usually when you think of coconut oil, you think too much of it is drying. Most recipes don't go above 30% coconut oil. And then you have 100% coconut oil soap that's perfectly lovely. And it, and it is if you use a high super fat. And I'm using a 20% instead of my usual 5 or 7% super fat here. And um, it's especially good for salt bars because Coconut oil is an oil that will lather in salt water, so it really lends itself to salt bars really well. Okay, so now I'm going to add my salt. These are already conveniently portioned off into one pound bags for me. And I've got about one pound in each bowl here, so I'm just going to dump this in. right in. It's going to get pretty thick here. Just moved 
from Louisiana to California, and this is my first batch in this new kitchen. So we're running low on salt bars, and I kind of wanted to just do something simple first time out while I'm trying to figure out all of the nuances of the new kitchen. So I thought this would be a good project to try. Okay, same thing with the pink. I'm waiting on some soaping supplies too, and coconut oil was one of the few oils that I had around, so that was another reason I thought of salt bars. But my husband and I both really like salt bars and we're getting low, so need to get some more made and curing. All right, just gonna whisk that in. Okay, so I'm just going to pour two layers here into my slab mold, and I especially like my slab mold for salt bars because it has dividers, and then I don't have to worry about cutting the bars, because salt bars can be tricky if you don't cut them at exactly the right time. If you wait too long, they can just get kind of crumbly on you. So if you have a slab mold with dividers, it really takes a lot of the anxiety out about salt bars because you don't have to worry about cutting them. Okay, smooth that out. Now I'm just going to pour the pink layer over the spatula here to kind of break the fall. I think it's thick enough that it'll be okay, but Don't want it breaking through to the layer below, but don't think that's going to be a problem. Kind of looks like a strawberry smoothie. Slide the dividers in. There we go. And push it all the way to the bottom. All right. I'm just going to put the top on these. Insulate it with a towel. And I'll meet you back here when it's time to unmold. Okay, so here they are. And I made these several days ago. Um, I left them in the mold that long, not for any particular reason, just that I didn't get around to making the unmolding video until today. But I could have unmolded these a lot sooner because salt bars get hard so fast. I probably could have done it the next day with no problem. This seems to be unmolding quite easily. The soap isn't soft at all. Breaking that air seal and then lifting it up. Let's see if I can pry under the lining here. A little bit of crumbling, but not bad. Should be able to just kind of pull these out. See if I can 
and get the dividers out. These are coming out really easily. These are so hard. Let you get a look at them here. Crumbled that one a little. That's the one I was trying to pry the mat away from. They all kind of look like this. Purple layer with the pink one on top. Some of them, it's, it's interesting, like the purple layer very pronounced there, but you can't really see it very well on this side. One of the cool things about salt bars is when I use this mold anyway with the dividers is the sides, how shiny they are. They kind of look like granite. Bye guys, thanks for watching.